Do you use pressed powder? Do you find that the powder puffs get kind of, there's no other way to say it, kind of nasty before you run out of powder? Is the nasty powder puff kind of making your powder nasty? There's a solution to those problems. This video will answer them. Kim Townsville here, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. It's free to give me a thumbs up, like the video. It's free to leave a comment. It's free to share this video if appropriate. Let me show you how I use these. I purchased these CoverGirl powder puffs at Walmart, where I get most of my stuff, and pay $2.94 for a pack of three, so they're about a dollar a piece. It gives you some tips on the back, in several languages. There's the information about CoverGirl and where it's produced in China. This is why I buy replacement powder puffs, because I'm about halfway through this CoverGirl compact, and this is what I put on after I put on my foundation, so my face is not oily or greasy or anything. It's still about halfway through. It just seems to me like it probably needs to be replaced. The ones that are in my purse and at work, they do pick up some oil. Even though I blot my face sometimes before I put them on there, they just get kind of nasty and I'm thinking that bacteria are in there. So when they start getting like that, I replace them with a new one, which I'm about to replace this one. This is the one from my purse. You see what I mean? It seems like it's picking up oil from my face regardless of ways to present it. So ways to prevent it, this one will be replaced as well. Aren't those nice and pretty and clean? Oh, it just look, looks so nice. And that is the difference between the new ones on the right and the old ones on the on the left, obviously. It, May not make a difference, but it just seems to me they're gonna these old ones are gonna get some bacteria and things on them. And I just like replacing them about halfway through with the uh, new fresh ones. Let's see if we can get a close-up of the texture of these. They're really nice and soft. They pick up enough powder. I usually use the powder to put on my nose and just uh, middle of my cheeks and my forehead and my chin, and then finish off with a powder brush to blend all that in and blend it out to the edges. It just works better for me. And on the other side, it has like a little satiny cover. And I've never had one of these come apart, even, you know, using them like daily. Sometimes the one in my purse gets used more than a day, but they hold up very nicely. This is the difference using a new puff will make. I'm about halfway through this compact the brand new one that I just used for one time and this is the older one and you can see that it it is picking up some of the even though my skin is clean because I'm only using this at my makeup table I'm not carrying it in my purse for retouch ups it's still picking up some oils and things like that that really is you, is you just have to know it's going to be harboring some type of bacteria so I do switch these out at least halfway through the compact Thanks for watching my video review of how to use the CoverGirl powder puffs. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share this video if appropriate. If you have a product that, that we can use to better improve our beauty and grooming, let us know so that we can all become better consumers. And until next time, bye. Clean is good.